What's up everyone, I'm Callum on Toast and I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that subscribed to me. I just hit 5k subscribers on my channel yesterday and I asked you guys how you wanted me to celebrate and you guys, well most of you voted for me to do a Q&A so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, I just want to mention that a lot of you ask me questions and if I don't feature your question it's probably because someone else asked a similar question or it might be that you commented after I started making this video so I apologize if you don't get featured in this video but I did try and answer every single question that you guys asked so with that being said let's get into the video now my rarest Pokemon is probably my shiny lucky hundo Sableye that I've best buddied uh, I've never caught a shiny Sableye and it's one I really wanted for PvP uh, it took me ages to find someone, uh, a lucky friend, that wanted to trade me a shiny Sableye and then when I did, uh, it, went, it turned into a hundo, so I was so stoked about that. It just so happened that as soon as I got it, Sableye was banned in like all of the following Sylph Cups, uh, so I couldn't use it at all, and that was quite disappointing, but yeah, that's probably my rarest Pokemon. My best Pokemon is probably my shiny Shadow Metagross. Uh, the IVs aren't the best, uh, but they're actually better than any other Shadow Beldum that I managed to get against Sierra. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it and that's probably my best Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon is actually Latios. I don't really have a reason for this. Uh, I don't know, I just, I just really like it and uh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, actually just the other day I traded out a shiny Heatran for a shiny Krabby. I really want to max out a shiny Kingler. So technically the first videos on my channel are actually PvP videos. They're recap videos from my London Regionals tournament. Uh, before that I'd only ever competed in small local tournaments and uh, I got an invite to the Regionals so I went to it. I ended up coming second. Uh, unfortunately that didn't get me a place into the Worlds but uh, it was a really fun, uh, enjoyable experience, so I thought I'd talk through my battles, but uh, the reason I got into making challenge videos is because, or well, the reason I decided to make challenge videos is because I wanted my channel to be unique. Uh, there's already so many great PvP YouTubers and it seems like every week there are new PvP YouTubers and I feel like there's no way I could compete with them in terms of the content that I produce. Uh, so I thought like I'd try something different and I know that people had initially used Great League Pokemon to take on the Grunts and I know that like, it was a big thing to try and use Great League Pokemon to take out the Snorlax Grunt but I wanted to step it up and on the first day that the leaders came out uh, they were actually exclusive to just a few regions in the world and London was one of those regions. So on the first day I went and found my first Sierra and it took me like an hour to take her out with Great League Pokemon but I managed to do it and I uploaded the video like a few days later and that was probably the first challenge video that anyone had done against the leaders and that was my first challenge video and uh, yeah sort of just carried on going from there. I've actually never played the main series games, so I can't really comment on that, I'm afraid. I have a list of criteria when I'm sort of choosing which Pokemon might or might not be able to take on the leaders. Uh, so I think about how spammy they are, so basically how fast they can get to a charge move. Uh, also I take into account the resistances that my Pokemon has, uh, especially against the first Pokemon. If I can use a Pokemon that double or triple resists their fast move, then I'm going to be able to set myself up to possibly sweep the second and third Pokemon without taking any damage because I can gain a lot of extra energy on the first Pokemon. I also take into account if I can deal enough damage. So usually if I have moves that are super effective or at least neutral to every Pokemon that they have as well, Pokemon that have stat increasing moves, uh, especially the attack stat, uh, that's the most useful. Uh, those are like the three main things that I think about when I'm choosing a Pokemon, especially for like solo challenges. If I'm doing other challenges like low CP challenges then I might think about 
Pokemon that have debuffing moves, like attack debuffing moves for example, so that my other Pokemon can survive for longer. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what goes through my head when I'm thinking about a challenge. How did I choose the name Calamon Toast? Well, I don't know, it was just a random name that I thought of when I made my first Xbox Live account, like, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago. And uh, I've just used it for every, every gaming profile or anything, really. So yeah. Uh, I aim to continue to do the same challenges for as long as I can. Uh, obviously at the moment, we've not had any new leader lineups for quite a while and there's only so many challenges I can do so I'm trying to venture into different avenues uh, different videos that I can make so I, I look to make a few PvP videos uh, unfortunately PvP is pretty broken at the moment and I haven't even bothered playing it this season apart from for one day but uh, I'd like to make some PvP videos, I'd like to make some more walkthrough videos, also videos explaining how you can improve against the team leaders and stuff like that, but yeah, uh, mostly the challenges, I want to continue doing that. So I didn't really advertise my channel at the start, uh, it was only, I don't know, a, f a good few months in when my friend shared one of my videos on a London Facebook group and it gained a lot more attention than what I'm used to. Uh, that's when I decided like, oh, you know, maybe I should be trying to promote or get my content out there. So I started sharing it on that Facebook group every now and then. Uh, then I posted on Reddit because someone had showed me a video on Reddit of a, a different challenge that I thought was really cool. So I posted it on there and that was my Great League Scrafty versus Giovanni and that did really well and then I posted a few more videos on Reddit but suddenly people's attitudes changed towards the challenge videos and there was quite a lot of hate for it so I stopped doing that and then suddenly like two months ago YouTube made a new feature called short videos where any portrait video that was less than one minute could be featured and a lot of my older videos got featured in that and that's how my channel blew up. So I'm not sure if I'd say it's underrated but I'd say it's definitely underrepresented in GBL and that's Scrafty. Uh, Scrafty basically has solid matchups against anything that doesn't have a fairy type move. Uh, it's a fighting type that does really well against the psychic types and ghost types. Uh, so yeah, I really I really like Scrafty. I even use it in the Ultra League and obviously I've used it in a lot of my challenge videos. Uh, another one I'd say is Lantern. Lantern is just the hardest counter to Azumarill and Azumarill is on pretty much everyone's team in, in Go Battle League so I really enjoy using a Lantern. Uh, I mostly watch PvP content creators so I watch a lot of King, Pokey AK, J Farm. Uh, FP Sticks, uh, JR Skater, Purple Kyogre, and a load more. Uh, I don't, not many people make these sort of challenge videos, but I watch uh, Raphael D and I watch uh, King Peria. Yes, there's been quite a lot of challenges that I've tried that haven't worked. Some of them have failed so epically that I've honestly been embarrassed that I powered up and second moved a Pokemon because it's it's done terribly. Uh, there are others that I knew could work and I just wasn't able to find the right lineup or when I did find the right lineup I just didn't have the patience to continue trying because a lot of them depend on getting boosts so getting like an RNG uh, ancient power boost for example so like a 1 in 10 chance and they might depend on getting that on the first move but I might also have to do X, Y and Z before I get to that point so there are a lot of challenges that I've failed that I've been pretty disappointed about. Uh, this is a pretty good question. Uh, maybe Shadow Lantern because I really enjoy using Lantern in GBL. Uh, maybe Shadow, Shadow Snow Run. Uh, that would be pretty cool. and. 
I don't know, maybe Shadow Trico or Shadow Sceptile, because I quite like using Sceptile for for challenges. So, uh, and we've had Shadow Mudkip, so yeah, maybe Shadow Trico. So I really don't like using other people's teams in GBL. I think it's really fun to sort of come up with your own teams and lines and uh, strategies to use. So one of my usual teams is usually I'll use a bulky Pokemon as a lead and then I have two Pokemon that are probably a lot squishier and cover its weaknesses really well. So I can switch to one if I have a bad lead and then I still have the other one that can counter whatever the bad lead was. Um, so for example, the team that I started using this season that I've obviously only used for one day, but I was using Bronzong in the lead and then Shadow Flygon and Shadow Shiftry on the 21st of July 2016. So not quite when it released, but maybe like a week or two after. My favorite shiny is my shiny Sableye. My favorite gym theme, uh, I quite like gym themes, uh, especially color themes. Also if all the Pokemon are shiny and share like a similar typing or something like that, then I quite like that. So hopefully I have an example of a gym theme that I've done. So I'm looking forward to Jellicent for PvP. It's got a really unique typing and a lot of bulk and it looks like it's got access to some pretty good moves. Also Mandibuzz uh, for similar reasons. Uh, I'm also looking forward to Bisharp. It's got a unique typing of Dark and Steel and I feel like it would be really good for challenge videos. It has some pretty good spammy moves as well so that's pretty exciting. And then also in Gen 6 there's a Pokemon called Ad Agislash, I think that's how you pronounce it. But that just looks ridiculous. Uh, it's got similar stats to Bastiodon, but it's Ghost and Steel, so it doesn't have any double weaknesses, and it actually resists fighting type moves, so that's going to be really interesting. I think that's going to completely break the game when that gets released. Uh, I'm also looking forward to a few Megas. Mega Sceptile, uh, because I really enjoy using Sceptile and, well, in Team Rocket challenges anyway and with that extra dragon typing I feel like that's really going to do it wonders and might open up some new avenues for my challenges against Sierra. Currently Sierra is head and shoulders above the other Team Rocket leaders in terms of who's the most powerful but you know that changes every time that there's a new lineup. So Sierra used to be the laughing stock with her Beldum as the lead, but now her Lapras is pretty tough. I know you're just taking the piss with this question, so I'm not going to answer it. <laughs> uh, I'd love to make some PvP content in the Ultra League, but PvP has just been pretty broken and I've not enjoyed it, so I've not bothered with this season. Last season was terrible. The amount of fast moves that you lose and like the lag is just not fun to play so I'm not going to bother until that gets addressed and fixed properly. Uh, but thanks for the uh, compliment about the uh, Purple Kyogre video. Uh, I really enjoyed the battles with Shadow Ninetales and Shadow Burnett. So like I say, people weren't really making these types of videos. Uh, so. I'd say I'm more inspired by some of the PvP YouTubers that occasionally venture out and do other things, so like Pokey AK, King IV, he also does a lot of raid challenges. Yeah, unfortunately I didn't, so that's why I've not been playing Go Battle League this season. Uh, I'll let you know when I do fix lag though, and uh, you can continue to play as well. Definitely Great League, uh, because I've done a lot of Sylph Cups in the past, I have quite a large variety of different Great League Pokemon that I've built up and there's also just a lot more room to use different Pokemon. Uh, I feel like Master League you have to use the certain meta and you can't really venture too far away from that. Ultra League, 
there is some spice, but you have the most freedom in the Great League, so that's why I enjoy it. Yeah, so my name is Callum. Uh, I live in London, and I was studying physics at UCL, and I completed my degree. I started my master's degree, but I've had some health issues, so I had to put hold on that for a year, and I'm still not in a position where I can return to education, so I'm actually just gonna stick with my degree and just completely cancel my masters for now and I'll see what what happens in the future so that's going to be the end of this video I want to say a massive thank you again to everyone that subscribed to my channel it means a huge amount to me uh, only three months ago I had people commenting saying wow you're so close to 100 subscribers uh, how are you going to celebrate and uh, now I'm at 5k subscribers in yeah, it is incredible to me, to, to be honest. Uh, I did not expect to be here, and I only hope that I can keep growing and keep improving my content. And uh, thanks for watching.